Hey, what's going on guys? So, uh, we're gonna be showing off this card, Illusion Snatch, which, uh, one of you guys peered me and showed me, which was really cool, because, uh, Mox haven't gotten some support, and this card generally looks like it's gonna be some, uh, type of card that people will run in Monarchs, so, uh, let's check him out. So, his effect is, when you, uh, tribute summon a monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. When this card is special summoned this way, the card's attribute, type, and level become the same as the, that monster. So, um... It basically looks like it's a card that's going to be used in Monarchs because uh, it'll allow you to go for rank 6 exceeds. Uh, so pretty cool stuff there. Um, he also has the same attack and defense as most of the Monarchs. And uh, he is dark, so that definitely is a plus. Um, his artwork is pretty cool too. He looks like he's half Caius, and then uh, the other half, I don't know what the card is. But if you happen to know, let me know in the comment section below because uh, I'm actually just curious. It does kind of look like Silver Surfer though, although that's not quite a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh monster. And he will be coming out in Return of the Duelist, so that is the set after uh, Galactic Overlord. Um, so let's check out some of the uh, exceeds that you can uh, make with him. So um, you can make Exa Beetle, which requires two level sixes. And what this card does is you can target one monster in either player's graveyard and equip it to this card. The card gains attack and defense equal to half of the original attack of the monster equipped by this effect. And once per turn, you can detach uh, one of the materials to target one face up. Uh, card on each side of the field and send those car targets to the graveyard. So that is a pretty darn good effect. Uh, but he has kind of low attack, so you might not be able to OTK with him. But I was thinking, since uh, you are running Illusion Snatch, um, what you can do is if you run enemy controllers, which uh, usually Frog Monarchs does run, and that is probably one of the best variants of Monarchs, is Frog Monarchs. So uh, what you can do is if you use enemy controller, then you tribute uh, your own like Treeborn Frog, um, and then you take one of the monsters, you'd have. Uh, Illusion Snatch on the field, you'd have a Monarch, plus you'd have that mon their monster. So, realistically, that could allow you to uh, OTK quite quick, um, or just, you know, overextend really fast and just finish the game. But, yeah, um, so I don't think Exabeed will be too good in that deck, but, I mean, you know, he, he does have a good effect. Uh, next up, uh, Force Focus, so it requires two level sixes, and during either player's turn, you can uh, detach one XYZ from... Uh, from this card um, to target one level five or higher effect monster your opponent controls and you negate the uh, effect of that monster until the end phase of this turn. And he has relatively decent attack, 28. And this is light and he's machine. So I don't think you'll be making this card though. Um, the card that I wanted to show off was this Photon Strike Bouncer. And uh, he requires two level sixes. And once per turn, during either player's turn, when it when a monster's effect is activated on your opponent's side of the field, you can detach one material to negate that effect, and if you do, you inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. So, it not only negates the effect, but then they take a thousand damage. So, that is pretty darn good. Plus, he's another light card, so if you're playing Monarchs, perhaps, uh, you know, most of these cards are, like, light that you're going to be bringing out. So, maybe Monarchs can run BLS now. Um, I mean, you could run it already if you're playing Effect Veilers. Um, then this card over here... Um, requires two level sixes and basically uh, you can detach an XYZ from this card then target one monster on the field or in the graveyard and return it to its owner's hand so it just helps you bounce cards but I don't think it'll be used because you're gonna monarch that monster anyways and try to push um, or I mean if you do happen to hit the back row I guess that could be an option um, and then there's another card sword breaker which I don't think is too great but um, once per turn you can declare a type and basically it allows you to kill that one monster during that turn um, but it says without damage calculation, so you know that is kind of a little bit better there. Uh, but you know, there's also some other cards. So if you're running uh, DNA, uh, what is it, transplant? Or one, that changes, one that changes the type. Uh, okay, so it's DNA surgery. So I guess if you're playing DNA surgery, I mean, you could realistically finally make this card. But this card will probably never see any play just because <laughs> Dolka is you know a lot easier to get out. Uh, and there's also this card, uh, which could be viable. Maybe um, I don't think it'd be. Uh, something that you would use, but remember that, um, what are they, either Heretic Dragons or Hieroglyph, uh, they always change their mind on what they're going to be calling them, but the Holy Mark, and you guys know what I'm talking about, those dragons where you tribute, uh, you know, it's just whenever you tribute summon a monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. I'm not sure if anything would perhaps miss the timing on uh, any of those, but I mean, I guess you could maybe make it uh, viable in that, so pretty interesting stuff, so maybe he'll be using that as well, and there's Magi Magi Magician Girl. Um, but this card realistically is not going to be coming out. Um, uh, but, I mean, if you do happen to get it out, I mean, you can target one monster your opponent controls and take it to the end phase. Um, but, I mean, I don't think you're going to be running spellcasters. I mean, it's going to be a little bit difficult to, uh, you know, have DNA uh, surgery there. Uh, but, I mean, if you happen to want to try it, by all means, that would be kind of interesting. Uh, 
But yeah, I just want to show off this card, and it will allow Monarchs to finally exceed, uh, and that perhaps might be the boost that Monarchs need to uh, be more meta. But I definitely think that this is going to be the best card right here that you're going to be uh, exceeding for. Um, yeah, doing a thousand damage and getting the effect. That is so good. But it's only once per turn. So, I mean, you know, you do have the effect twice, um, but like cards like Roach, we can actually, you know, twice essentially. It just helps out so much because what they can do is they can kind of force you to, you know, if they summon Judgment Dragon, you're obviously going to, like, negate the effect if they activate it. And if they summon another one, you can't because it's only once per turn, which is the only downside to him. But he is still quite good. Just that extra thousand damage is just awesome. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And if there's any suggestions for uh, any other exceeds, let me know in the comment section below so other people can uh, perhaps check those out. Um, I mean, realistically, I guess you can tribute for fives and you can use five level five exceeds. But I, I'm pretty sure the best five, level five exceeds are Aegis and Tyrus anyways. Um, maybe perhaps Zen Mayo as well, but um, generally I feel like you know it's going to be more viable in Monarchs, and I think this card is amazing. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of Photon Strike Bouncer, because I think he's probably the best. I think if I was playing the deck, uh, then I was running Illusion Snatch, I would definitely be making him the most. Uh, obviously, I don't think I'd make him against like a Skill Drain deck, but um, definitely a pretty cool, cool card. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes White Dragon, signing out.